All right, this is a introduction or a review, depending on what graphic design class you're in, on how to use the pen tool to draw. First thing you want to make sure when you're drawing with the pen tool, make sure you have the none button checked through the fill box. All right, have a black outline set to your stroke box, and we're going to zoom in. We're going to draw a box around the straight line section. And what you see here is the arrow that we're going to use. And all you need to do is take your pen tool and you're going to click on box A and then move your mouse and click in box B. And you're making a straight line here. All right. Now to deselect, you can press Command, Shift, A. That will deselect your drawing. All right, now, next thing we have to do is split this line in half. So what we're going to do is take our selection tool. Shortcut command for the selection tool is V. Click on my shape, and I'm going to select my eraser tool. I'm just going to click and make a hole like that on my line. All right. Next thing I want to do, select one part. In this case, I'm going to select the B part. And I'm going to change my stroke to three points. All right. Now we have to add the arrowhead to the B line. So I'm going to go to Effect, Stylize, Add Arrowheads. Now when this window pops up, you have two sections, the Start box and the End box. The Start box would be on the A line, and the End box is the B line. So Arrow 2 is the correct arrow for the end box and in the start box you want to have none so if I hit preview you could see all right that the arrowhead pops up on the B side however if I had something in the start box look what it does it adds it to the end of my line which we do not want so leave the start box at none and press OK then we're going to come back to the A line change the stroke to 3 go back to effect Stylize, add our heads, change the end box to none, and, or, and make the start box 18 of 27. So if I hit preview, there you go. There's our two arrows we're going to use later on. So I'm going to press OK. All right, I'm going to zoom out. And we're going to talk about what we're going to draw next. We're going to talk about drawing a curved line. So if I zoom in on the curved line here, all right, you can see that there's a very nicely curved line. Now, <clears throat> if you look at this dotted example, we have three boxes, A, B, and C. We have our dotted line, which represents the curved line. And you have these handles that represent handlebars. So if I click on point A all right, to draw a curved line, you click on point B and drag your mouse towards the handlebar. And as you turn your mouse, it makes your line for you. Now, I have to go to point C. So if I click on point C and drag my mouse, all right, there's my curved line. Notice I used those handles as a guide on how to drag my line. Not exactly perfect, but it's a guide nonetheless. All right, so zoom out. So we drew this one. And what we're going to do down here where it says leaf step two is we're going to learn how to add to a line that already exists. So if you already have a section of a line and you want it to continue, all you need to do is activate the line take your pen tool, click on one of the anchor points and you'll see you will see the little next to my pen tool icon there's a sideways slash I'm gonna click right on that anchor point now if I tried to go all the way to point B all right, you can see what's happening here my leaf is getting distorted it's not exactly looking like I want it to so what I like to do is I like to click about halfway 
All right. And then before I click on point B, I'm going to click on this next anchor point that I just drew. You see the little arrow next to my pen tool icon? And what happens there is the other handle disappears. So now I'm going to come down to point B. And I can go ahead and finish that off. All right, so now what I have drawn is I've drawn my leaf and I've drawn my arrow. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our stem and we're going to select our stem. Now, in our, in our pen tool is grouped a bunch of different options. The add anchor point tool, which will add a point. Delete anchor point, which will take one away. And one that's called the convert anchor point tool. And what the convert anchor point tool does, if you take, notice it looks like a little arrow, click on the anchor point and drag, all right, notice what happens, all right? Now, that nothing happened there, so I'm going to hit point B, all right, see what's going on? So let me try drag that one, Ooh. and get it as close as you can, and there you go. There's my stem. So we've drawn the arrow, the stem, and the leaf. Now comes the most important part, the pear itself. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go back to my pen tool, and I'm going to start on point A. And I'm going to click on point B, and notice what happens. All right. I make my curve for my pair, but it doesn't exactly line up with the dotted line. Now, one of two things I could do. I could take my convert anchor point tool, click on the anchor point, or I could take my handlebars and try and work it that way. Now, I don't I'm not a fan of the convert anchor point tool, so I'm not really going to suggest you do that. What I suggest you do is when you have a big curve like this that you can't make the exact curve you want is you go halfway between all right and before you go to point b i want you to click right on top of the anchor point that you just drew and then go to point b so i'm going to click on point b go halfway to point c click on this anchor point go to point c click on the anchor point move halfway click and drag click on the anchor point click and drag so you see the similarity here now from point D to point E I can get there <clears throat> excuse me with one click from point E to point F I can get there with one click and from point F to point G I can get there in one click so you don't always have to click in between with your pen tool All right, so now I'm going to click on point H, then I'm going to click on point I and drag, click on point I, move it to point J, click and drag, and then I'm going to click on point J, move it to point K and A, and then click and drag again. Now, I have completed my pair, but notice if I zoom in, I have some inconsistencies here. So what I'm going to do is take click and hold my pencil tool and in there is called the smooth tool and what the smooth tool does any imperfections you may have with your drawing all right you can slide over with the smooth tool and what that allows you to do is smooth out any kind of imperfections and if you're not careful it'll make it worse so you might have to do it a few times, like I was doing right there. That's okay. It's better than the option, which some people do if they can't draw, is click and try and make a curve out of a bunch of tiny straight points, which I've seen plenty of people do. And I still see people doing it in graphics too. And if you're watching this video and you're in graphics too, then you're one of those people. Now, I'm going to use my direct select tool and fix these anchors a little bit more all right and that's the best way to go ahead and draw with the pen tool now I have one last little curve here 
So I'm going to take my pen tool and just click and draw my line. There you go. Deselect, Apple, Command, Shift, A. All right. Now we have to put this together. So first thing I'm going to do is take the arrow, the bottom arrow, and line it up here. The arrowhead itself, we're going to try and line it up right there. So now it looks like the arrow is going through the pair. We're going to take the leaf, bring it up here. The stem, bring it over here. Now, if you notice, the stem and the leaf are sort of gigantic. So what you can do, shift-click both, and then hold down your option and shift button. Shrink them down so they stay proportioned. Maybe that's a little too small, Mr. Ferranto. We're going to go bigger. Okay. We're going to object arrange, bring these in the front so they're in front of our pair. And now we're going to actually put our swatches on my pair. So if I click on my swatch palette, drag it over. The pair is going to be this shape right here, pair body. Leaf, you're going to find for pair leaf. The stem you're going to find pair stem. All right, so when I zoom out, we'll just... All right, what's my problem now? Oops, I accidentally... My pair is in front of my stem, so... Object arrange, bring to front, <clears throat> my stem at, my arrow, excuse me. All right, and there you go. And what you can do after you're done drawing is take away all your stroke on your... on your items, hide your template layer, and there you go. That is how you complete drawing the pair.